Yo guys, this is Dimmix here. Welcome back to Dragon Roll TV and today we are playing Karak Kadrin Total War Warhammer 2 Campaign Episode 8. So let's get started. So last time we had a load of battles with the vampires and we took Castle Drakenhof and we took Eshin. I think we took Waldenhof as well. I think it was a really good turn for the books uh, because they sallied out and uh, tried to break the siege on all those on all those settlements and they failed every single time which was great for us great for the dwarfs and uh, we're gonna try and keep that momentum up now and the good news is this is our third gold mine and that's the first thing I'm gonna do is build a gold mine here then I think what we'll do next is we'll have a look at what else we can build because I really want to start upgrading my infrastructure we've got two solid armies there so infrastructure is what we'll focus on this episode trying to build up a stable base for us to keep spreading our empire ever onward for the glory of the Dowie. and I think that's going to be achieved by a bit more growth in these lands so let's do that that'll help our replenishment as well although it's already very strong uh, meanwhile we'll get a quick auto resolve battle here I think yeah auto resolve that No problems there. We'll execute the captives. I don't think zombies mind very much about being executed. And Regiment of Renown unlocked. Very good. Yes, yes we have four Regiments of Renown. I should add that I've down downloaded the uh, the Dwarf DLC that I did until yesterday did not know existed. And I didn't think it would actually come into effect halfway through the campaign, but it appears that it just merges with the campaign save so that's why I now have regiments of renown available okay let's have a look here I think we'll try and get lightning strike next I think that's the next good thing that'll that'll help us yeah I think lightning strike so what we'll do is we'll try to go for untainted because we're going to be dealing with a lot of chaos corruption so we'll get that and hopefully start helping with the public order in these vampiric lands We'll move back into Castle Drakenhof so that we're not taking attrition. Meanwhile, Glum Bugman. Now, we really want to take Castle Templehof before the Empire do. Because it's a capital city and I don't want the Empire having it, really. If we can at all avoid it. So, we will move to siege it straight away. And then we'll reinforce it next turn with Ungram Iron Fist, if need be. Should be okay to take it, to be honest, but we'll see. We'll upgrade his Untainted as well, and let's move to take Castle Temple off. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put some siege buildings in there. Should be fine. If they sally out, definitely fine. We'll support him with Ungram Iron Fist next turn, and that will secure the victory. And uh, it prevents Mr. Cal Franz over here from taking it from under our feet. Great, so what's next? Well, what I think should be next is we should go back to Mount Gunbad and see what we can do here. I know it's ready to upgrade, but we haven't got the gold, so we'll wait until next turn. And we can upgrade this, which will allow us to get the next upgrade of the gold mine. So we'll pass our turn there. Oh, sorry, no we won't. First we will... Go for untainted in public order. We need to get rid of this 89% vampiric corruption. That needs to go. So, untainted is definitely the way forward. We'll also repair this. Can't afford to, so we'll skip that. And I'll pass our turn there. Let's see what happens. Okay, hostile hero activity, assassinate failed, hinder replenishment failed, that's good news. Let's try to go straight back and assassinate her, shall we? Failed as well, not a problem, we'll upgrade that chance for next time. Let's see if we can get her next time. Meanwhile, let's check if they can siege it now, they can, but before we do that, continue the siege. Let's send Ungram and his extra reinforcements over 
to reinforce that army and ensure the victory. Take him out of march stance. Aha, he needs to be in march stance, okay. That's fine. There we go. Now, it should be a very good battle. Okay, so one of the things I'm concerned about here is that uh, a lot of these dwarf units are already on quite low health. So we're really going to try and minimize the casualties and just go against... Uh, oh, these guys are confusing things. Long beards. There you go. Take them out. Stick them on uh, five. Stick the rest of you on this side. And so we've just got two towers uh, able to shoot at our, our Dowie brothers there. And that should minimize the casualties they take. But we're probably going to take a few. I, I wouldn't even mind putting someone on, on sit-out duty, to be honest. Let's do that. Because I don't want to lose the units. I'd rather not lose them if I can help it, because it's all gold. <laughs> not lives, it's just gold. Being a, uh, a dwarf lord, that's all you think about. Your gold, you don't care about your dwarf lives. They'll do what they're told. And we'll send our lord up against the, the gate as well. Our reinforcements are going to arrive here in a moment, and they will join the front lines as quickly as possible to support the assault. Uh, and without further ado, let's go. So we'll get up the walls there. We'll send these guys here just to stay in line. Because you can have only so many ladders on the walls. So we'll go up four by four to minimize those losses. Even my hero's a little bit damaged. And here come these troops, and they're a lot more healthy, so we'll send them at this wall here. I don't mind them taking a bit of a beating as much, because they have plenty of troops. We'll halt them there, because they're in range. And this lot can go over here. We've got a nice big army of reinforcements coming in. There they are, look at that. You guys can go here. And you guys can go there. Start climbing indeed. Ungrim, get to the front line. Support them at the front. These archers can get into line with these ones. That's all of them. Let's see how our front line's getting on. Glory to the first man to die! Our first dwarf. Whichever you prefer. <laughs> there he is. Look at him. No fear. Jumps over the wall. Gets stuck right in. Go on, boys. That's got to be scary, isn't it? I mean, any battle would be scary, but jumping over the wall straight at a horde of undead skeletons in armor. It's not a pleasing sight for anybody. We'll send our second, second ranks in. Second ranks, second line of units, whatever you prefer. Got our lords here ready to go through this gate as soon as it falls, which will be soon now that the battering ram has reached the gates. These warriors, perfect 100 health running up there. And here come more of our archers. And that should be the end of all their units on the walls. To be honest, we would have been better standing back and just letting our archers deal with it, I think. But, you know, you wouldn't do that in a real battle, so... you got to send in the infantry, right? These slayers won't do that well against Graveguard, but... Certainly better than nothing, and they're buffed by being part of the Slayer King's army, so they should do just fine. Well enough. Backed up by the archers, they'll do great, I think. The battering ram has bugged out and disappeared because of the gate opening. Okay. Have we lost it? Yes, it's been lost. Great game mechanics there. Let's see if we can go through the gates. Oh, maybe it's, maybe it's already broken. Damage, 50%. Let's see if they can get through. Yes, they can. It appears that they can get through, so perhaps I'm wrong. It's just usually the battering ram gets moved to the side, right? So you can see here, it looks like it's disappeared, but perhaps not. 
Okay, let's get more of them up the walls. No, 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 no. That's not how to do it. That will do. That'll work. We're not really counting on infantry support this day anyway. It's mostly about these this archer fire, which is tremendous and relentless. They have a final army of bats and their general waiting for us. And I think Ungram is going to want a jewel of honour against this vampire lord. Because he is a dwarf of honour and he seeks his death through honourable combat. And the only way to do that is to duel vampire lords. Although I doubt you'll have any trouble with this one. But we should continue true to lore, nevertheless. Let us slay this vampire king. Good stuff. This is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. Leaving Ungram and the Vampire Lords to fight 1v1 in honourable combat. Perfect. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Did you see her morale instantly? She knows what she's up against. She's like, oh, I fucked up. Oh, crap. And she's disintegrating. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Off with her head. Wonderful. Great victory for the Dowie. Ungram Ironfist disappointed that the challenge did not meet his expectations. A good siege nonetheless. And a victory for the Dowie giving us Castle Tempelhof. Another great stronghold in these lands. And I think that is the end of the Von Karsteins, or certainly the Manfreds Von Karsteins. Perhaps not Vlad and his ilk. The Vampire Counts, that's them. I think the, the Vlad's lot are called specifically the Von Karsteins. Gold and plunder, let's occupy it. Needs a bit of redecoration. Doesn't mean we have to sack it. We'll send Ungram back to Eschen. Actually, he'll probably end up in Drakenhof. A bit more befitting of a Dwarf Lord. And now we have 3,500 gold. So let's go and upgrade Mount Gunbad so we can upgrade that gold mine. We're really focusing on infrastructure this, this, uh, this episode. Although... We don't mind those battles. Luckily we got a good one there. What are our agents up to? Ah, we can upgrade to Untainted plus three. Perfect. Riddles of this vampire corruption. And I think that's all we can do this turn. So we'll pass it there. You are not welcome, so I won't pretend otherwise. Now spit out your proposal. You tell him. They want a peace treaty, and they're willing to offer 1,200 gold. I don't really want to make peace with them, but I do want gold. So it's a catch-22. Let's see if we can get some more gold out of them. Still accepted. Okay, 1,800 gold. That's okay, because we're still going to wipe them off the face of the earth. We'll give them 10 turns. It gives us the, the time to focus on our infrastructure, and then we'll wipe them out. Damaged walls was a failure. The Bray Herds come. Where are they? I should have checked that. Actually, the Bray Herds, where are you? Ah, quite far away. They're in Kislev lands, so that we won't worry about that just yet. However, we will worry about our income. So let's build that, and we'll build this as well for public order, because the public order around here is going to be rubbish for quite a while. We'll get Ingram into Castle Drakenhof. And then we'll have a look at what we can build. 
Land Grimbad is upgrading. How long until we can upgrade Karak Ungor? Population surplus is four required. Currently have two, so not quite yet. Because it would be good to get that final level of Goldsmith. I don't know where the vampires are or what they have left, which is interesting too. Uh, let's also check our diplomacy, see who we can trade with now that we've moved into these lands. Telebeck lands. Will you trade with us now? It's in your best interests. We have a lot to offer. Fair enough. We can't trade with the Empire because we can't establish a route to their capital. So perhaps Manfred still owns this here. No, it's von Karstein. It's owned by von Karstein. So I'm not sure where Manfred is, but he is somewhere. Aha, here. He's in Averheim. There he is. So they have managed to wipe out some of the minor human factions. Let's try and get rid of some of their agents here. Failure again. Not so good, Kungunison. Let's also check our quests. I think that's not a bad idea. I'll upgrade this granary. Dragon Cloak. Raid any region belonging to the Greenskins and win the following battle. And that will give me my Slayer Crown, so that seems like it'd be a good idea to try and do that. I think I'll do that on my next turn. Let's see what the enemy is. I think we can win that. That is a strong enemy though. But we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. So once he's fully healed, that's what we'll do. Okay, they damaged our walls. We've gained a trait for public order. And gained a follower and another follower for untainted plus three. That's very helpful. Thanks for that. Uh, let's build a gold mine straight away. No doubt we want to improve that income even further. Uh, upgrade our Rinsmith here. Let's give him cleanse corruption as well. I think it's really important to try and cleanse the corruption as quickly as possible. I think we're doing a good job of that. These lands will be green and beautiful once again under Karak Kadrin rule. Uh, I think that is about as much as we can do this turn. I'm going to try and follow their agents. Nope, don't solve that. Go this way. Can we afford to attack him? Yes, we can. So we'll give it a go. Critical success! We killed him. Well done. Making up for those previous failures by actually killing him in... in in its entirety. Killing it in its entirety because it was a vampire so we shan't call him a him. Maybe we will. Not sure. They're dead. That's the important thing. <laughs> Again. Uh, okay. So yes, I think the last thing we're going to try and do in this episode is to do this, uh, this battle for our Slayer Crown. But we're not quite ready to fight yet. Uh, as we can see we've still got miners into replenish there. So we'll pass our turn once more. Perhaps twice more. And uh then we'll be ready to fight. Fetch the brewmaster. We drink military alliance. Uh, they are doing well, so it's not such a bad idea, to be honest. I think I will. I, I, I'm always skeptical with military alliances with the uh, AI because they tend to embroil you in wars you don't want to be in. Uh, but they are very high strength rank, and they are right next to us, which would be very helpful. And we want to eventually confederate with them. I think we'll say, I think we'll say yes to them. They're our kin, after all. How dare you darken my hall, Ozkula. Manfred comes seeking peace. Well, we can't reach him right now, so let's just get as much gold as we can out of it. Let's do that. They rejected it. Okay, fine. That's fine by me. It does me no harm, so no problem. I would have liked the gold, but it's okay. Okay, Caravan Raid. A dwarf trade caravan is ringed by goblin wolf archers, a stalemate has developed, but the foe has refused to relent. Such a local affray should be dealt with by the local lord, but your intervention could speed things up. Smash the enemy. 
or the raid remains. Let us smash the enemy and help our brothers out. Let's check where we can build. We can build in eastern Sylvania. We can build in western Sylvania. Yep, we know about that. Zufbar. Now, Zufbar is actually not in a good way, so let's have a look at what we can do here. Untainted plus four, which is going to be very helpful. 56% corruption and minus 15 on their... Uh, public order so let's build that first and what we'll do is we'll move Ungrim into Zufbar for a bit actually it's not in as bad a way as Castle Drakenhof so cancel that keep upgrading the untainted so that we can get this into a nice beautiful land as quickly as possible and we can also afford to upgrade this here see where else we can build can upgrade our growth at Kazadurkalaz, which has another gold mine. I think I'd rather do that. We want to expand to a fourth level gold mine as quickly as possible, and that's the best way to do it. Kondagonison. Let's see what he can do. Not much. He's got 55 gold to spend, so we'll just use him to scout. See what's over here. Averheim. Under siege by Karl Franz himself. Perhaps we should have taken that peace treaty at the price it was offered, because... Seems like the vampires are going to be dead very soon. So, it would have been good to get some gold out of them. I might do it right now. Let's see what we can do. Peace treaty. They're likely to take it. Payments. Demand payment. 1500. 1800? Let's see if we can get 1800. We can get 1800. So, good. That was good because we've declared peace with them, which is fine because they're about to be wiped out anyway. So, it doesn't matter and we got a free bit of gold out of them. So, that was very handy. And Glum Bugman is struggling to heal his army in this vampiric wasteland that he currently resides in. Ungrim, thankfully, not having the same problem. One more turn and he'll be ready to fight for uh, for his Slayer crown, which he so desperately needs. To invoke his right as the Slayer King. Hochland are declaring war on us. Okay, interesting. Didn't foresee this. They're quite aggressive fellows though, so I'm not surprised. Let's call our allies to help us. Strength rank 51. Seems like an interesting decision on their part. Okay, I think uh, Ingram is ready to fight this battle. Uh, unfortunately, we've actually taken up more time than I thought I would this episode, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that for the opening of next episode. It should be a really good opener. Uh, it's going to be a massive battle, so that's where we'll leave this episode, guys. But tune in for the next one, which will be up um, in the next couple of days, so don't worry, it won't be too long to wait, and you'll see the uh, massive battle between Ungram Iron Fist for his Slayer Crown against the vampiric enemy forces of Zacharias von Drac. Zacharias von Drac. So yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it guys, so thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, leave a comment below, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers!